Hey everybody, this is Alexander Fitzgerald or Assassinato. And today we are going to be discussing low stakes poker strategy. This is how to exploit winner's tilt. I'm going to give you one of the best lines that anyone ever used on me. Poker is an art and science, but this was pure art. I was a very tight player at this time when I was playing when I was younger. I played premiums and I played them hard. I won a huge pot. I stacked my chips high. One of the veterans at the table said to everyone, we're never going to see those chips again. It was a reference to how tight I was. He thought I would do nothing but play aces for the rest of the day. He was smart. He knew I was on winner's tilt. I had been biding my time. I had played tight for several sessions in a row. I wasn't losing money, but I wasn't making a ton of money either. With this one pot, when the with this one huge pot, I was now well ahead. He knew the pressure was off of me. He knew he could manipulate that. Sure enough, about an hour later, I had given away half of those chips. I had felt insulted by the insinuation that I couldn't open up my game. I was too cavalier about the hands I was playing. I gave back my chips. The veteran collected most of them. Winner's tilt is real. When someone has been fighting tooth and nail for hours or days and then suddenly wins a pot, they are going to feel loopy for the preceding 10 to 20 minutes, if not longer. It takes time to adjust to your new station. In those 10 to 20 minutes, you will see people raising with hands they normally would not raise with. You should three bet and trap them when they do this. They will not fold to the three bet enough. In those 10 to 20 minutes, you will see more cold calling than before. You should know that you can value bet more thinly. If they call you from the big blind, that is the mother load of winners till payoffs. They will call all the way to the river before they start thinking about the hand. They feel like they're free rolling with all their new chips. It's monopoly money. If you get second pair with top pick, if you get second pair with top kicker, you should be thinking about how to get three streets. Pay attention to how someone acts after they win a big pot. Are they giggly? Did their body language noticeably loosen? You likely have someone who is tilting. Take advantage of their upcoming poor play. All right, guys, that is my time for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to keep working on your game, I have a free one-hour masterclass in the information section of this video. I asked you guys what you wanted a masterclass on, and a bunch of you told me, hey, when I have ace-king, I three-bet with it, I miss the flop, I continuation bet, and I get called. I don't know what to do. So what I did is I made an entire masterclass about how to play ace-king. It covers what to do when you're in position, when you're out of position, when you hit, when you don't hit. You'll love it. Check it out. It's absolutely free. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Good luck to you if you're playing today. Take care. I'll see you for the next one of these.